What you're looking at is the premium cable guide from March of 1982. First month we had cable. HBO Showtime and the Movie Channel. Any which way you can was a big movie that month, as was Bustin' Loose. But tonight we're watching a rare movie. This one's called The Black Pearl. It's a movie that is very hard to find. There's a description for it. Having learned that the art of pearl diving, a teenager sets out to find a prized black pearl guarded by an evil giant manta ray based on a prize-winning novel starring Gilbert Rowland and Mario Custodio. There you go. All right, Shockmeister fans, as you saw there, we're going to watch The Black Pearl. Let's check it out. These are the pearl divers of the Baz, Mexico. The men of this fleet have been diving for as long as anyone can remember. They are not rich, but it's the only life they know. They're right on top of you. But the most dangerous of all is the Mata Diablo. Many people believe that such a monster never really existed. Giant man ray exists, all right, and it's big. And it flies. Dive for oysters to get pearls. That's me, Ramon Salazar. And that's Ramon, the star of our show. We have an injury. These guys want to be Please, divers. It's Ramon's father. This is true, father. Played by Gilbert Rowland. There's not one man in the village who will listen to me as they listen to you. I must prove myself as a diver. Teach this one everything he needs to know about diving. And if I teach him to take from the sea only what he needs, I want you to be my partner. Things are well, looking up for Ramon. Do you accept? Of course I accept. <laughs> so this is day one of Ramon's training. His trainer gives him a warning. You are forbidden to go in that cave. Remember that. Why is he forbidden? That cave is the home of the Manta Diablo. But the Manta Diablo is just a story. No, it is not. The Manta Diablo speaks with the fish, the sea, only what we need, and no more. No more. But what's in that cave? So he continues his training, which involves a lot of breath holding to begin with. He had to reach a certain limit before they agreed to go diving with him. And he just made it. I came to you, Soto the Sun, to learn how to dive. And you taught me. I also came to earn the respect of my father and the people of the past. So his teacher goes out of town for a few days, and he just cannot resist going to that cave. And 
spite of the warning from the bird. Ramon's gonna go diving in that cave. Returns. The man that Diablo wants what belongs to him. The broken by many things in my village. Then it is time for you to go away from me. Quite valuable. But has he brought a curse upon himself or his village? Father's quite impressed, apparently. Father? Come on. The pillar of heaven. I think I said this guy was Gilbert Rowland. That's wrong. It looks more like a grapefruit than a pearl. It's the actress Carlos it's Estrada. Like Nothing more. No market for the things. It's kind of an odd scene. Two guys, they must have some sort of endurance test or something. ring of fire is put around each of them, and some tarantulas are let loose in with them. I guess it's a test to see who can last the longest without freaking out. I'm freaking out just looking at it. The other guy gave up, but this guy won. He's going to finish off that spider, though. Mon's father isn't going to sell. It's yours, father. What? What? 30,000 pesos. 33,000. 34,000 pesos. I will not be used this way. My son and I give you this pearl for the Madonna. And it's there that night of the next day, a huge storm is brewing. First, the Monte Diablo. Ramon's father was out in that storm on a boat. Huh, my father. Where's my father? He is lost. Oh, dear. You are saying you feel lost now. Ramon blames himself. But there will come a time when you need God even more than you do now. And he will be there. Now you are being foolish. The pearl! The pearl is gone! It's 
You can guess who took it. He plans to put it back. This guy doesn't want to, though. This guy's gonna go down and retrieve it. He does find it and bring it back up, too. The guy says we're gonna be rich, and Ramon says I, I didn't take the pro for money belongs to the Monte Diablo, who is now showing its face. So the guy actually puts a harpoon in the Monte Diablo, kind of like Jaws, it's pulling them. And then he jumps on. Diablo on that guy go under, and that's the last we see of them. Ramon returns with the pearl. This pearl is 95 carats. Perfectly shaped and without a flaw. The price is 50,000 pesos. No more, no less. In spite of that last scene. This is a new thing of the past. Not mine. Yours. I believe he got a ton of money. A man has to do what he believes is right. He bought stuff for the village. A pearl is neither good nor evil. It is only what you do with it that makes it so. Alright. Let's talk about this movie called The Black Pearl. I originally saw this, or at least parts of it, back in March of 1982, which was the very first month we had cable. I showed you a little clip from the um, cable guy that we had at the time at the beginning of this video, and now I just watched the movie. Um, it's one of those movies I tried to track down in, in the 2000s. It was never released on videotape that I could... Um, I could find evidence of. It's never been released on DVD. I scoured the internet looking for somebody who may have had a copy, and I eventually found somebody who said he taped it off of like HBO or something back around 1982. Um, so he sent it to me. So it's not the best copy in the world because it was a, obviously a 20 year, old, 20 year old videotape at that point. Um, but, you know, it's probably the best you're ever going to find. Um, it's, I, I did some more searching yesterday. It turns out this is a very, very rare movie that um, some people are looking for, and nobody has it but me, I guess. So, anyway, um, it's, uh, it's a movie that was based on a book put out by a guy named Scott O'Dell. It's about a... Um, uh, people who are uh, searching for pearls in this, um, they're in Baja, California somewhere, this little, little village, and they, uh, some of the people in there make, make, make their living by uh, diving for pearls. And uh, this one kid, um, Ramon, wants to learn the trade. His dad is in, in the trade, and so are a lot of other people in the town. And uh, he ends up learning from this one guy, and this one guy says, well, you, you, I'll teach you what I know, but stay away from that l cave over there. There's a cave in this lagoon. It's apparently guarded by... Um, the Manta Diablo, which is a gigantic manta ray. Of course, the kid thinks it's just legend, it's not true, and then at one point, once his trainer goes away for a few days, he decides to go in that cave anyway. He dives, and sure enough, he finds this giant oyster. Inside that giant oyster is a giant pearl, the biggest one that you've ever seen. It turns out, it turns out to be 95 carats. Um, He's thinking this will do a lot for our village, but then uh, bad things start happening, and he thinks uh, it, like it's cursed. Like, oh my God, I should have shouldn't have taken this. Should go back. Um, his trainer finds out what he did, and he basically disowns him. Um, and it, it culminates with uh, the guy's father ends up dying in a storm, and of course the kid blames himself. This wouldn't have happened had I not taken this pearl. So he figures he's got to bring the pearl back. So he starts to do that, but then this other guy hitches a ride with him, and he's uh, more in it for the money. This guy's a diver as well. The kid throws the uh, 
pearl in the water. The guy goes diving for it and actually finds it. And then all of a sudden, the Monta Diablo shows up. It's like Jaws. It's a gigantic manta ray. Um, and at one point, uh, the other guy harpoons it and jumps on top of it. And he's trying to, like, stab it. And it's bleeding. And then uh, both him and the manta ray go underwater. And they're never to be seen again. Um, the kid retrieves the black pearl. And... Um, I was a little confused by the ending because he took it back into town and he brings it to this place and says, I want 50,000 pesos for it, nothing more, nothing less. But the next thing you know, he's like um, like giving it to the church. So I'm not sure if he actually sold it or what, but whatever the case is, it ends happily. <laughs> There's our movie. Anyway, The Black Pearl, like I said, it's not available on VHS or DVD. Um, like I said, I had that uh, bootleg VHS of it and I made a DVD-R of it a couple of days ago, made some nice little box art for it. So, But you know what? I actually enjoyed this movie today. I saw it when I picked it up about 15 years ago. Didn't really think much of it, um, but I watched it today and um, I have a different respect for it. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. So anyway, if you can find this movie, um, let me know because I'm just curious where you found it because it's not findable. But anyway, let me know if, what you think about it, if you've seen it or whatever. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. It's The Black Pearl. Watch it. Bye.